Did you know that 40% of people on Twitter have shown that they will actually purchase something from a Twitter ad? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith and I help people automate their marketing. And today I wanna to share a story of some clients that we've been helping run Twitter ads to just explode their marketing growth. And that's what we do. We take companies and nonprofits and we help them grow online by giving them the tools and the playbooks that they can just copy and get started on their own. Now, this story is really interesting because we have a, a group of clients in our marketing machine where we help them set up the Twitter ads, all the automation, the sales funnels, and all the follow-up. So it's really key to have the follow-up and those landing pages in place. And even if you don't have those in place yet, you'll also be able to learn how to set those up to send that Twitter ad traffic to, to get the highest conversions. So the client I recently started working with, they started about two months ago. In just the last 30 days, they've had 1,500 people come to their landing page from Twitter ads. Almost 100 people signed up. That's a 6% conversion rate. Now, did you know the average website gets a 1% conversion rate? So the fact that they're getting a 6% conversion rate from Twitter ads is outstanding. The cost per click is even more shocking. If I go to Facebook, Google, or Instagram to run ads, I'm going to be paying dollars per click. On Twitter ads, they're paying 60 cents a click, which is crazy. Now it's targeted. It's the exact audience that they want to target. These people are coming to the landing page from the Twitter ad. They're signing up for their offer. And the feedback I've received back from them says that all of these leads are qualified. That means your leads are probably on Twitter and you don't know it yet. So if you are not running Twitter ads or any ads, you actually don't need a large budget. These people only spend a hundred bucks to get 1500 visitors and almost a hundred leads. It's pretty wild. So I want to teach you how to set up Twitter ads, why it's so important and why you should get started on that today. Now, Twitter is now called X, which is very interesting. So we can call it whatever you feel like, right? Twitter or X. But what we're seeing on uh, Twitter, I'll just call it Twitter for the sake of this video, is that these people are more professional that the people are joining Twitter are older, a little bit older crowd. Now we do have a lot of solopreneurs, younger people that are just getting started, but it's almost like the new LinkedIn. I would call Twitter the new LinkedIn where, you know, people are going there to learn, to educate, to build value, to help each other out and to actually buy things that they learn to trust. And that's where ads come in is if you show the ad enough times or a certain amount of times to somebody, and they're in that buying behavior, 40%, which we talked about at the beginning, they're more likely to click that ad and be interested, especially if they see multiple ads from you or they're already following you or you're following them back. It's just providing a ton of value there by showing those ads to the right people at the right time. Now in the Twitter ad audience, I show you how to set up your ideal audience. Their audiences are outstanding. You can target by industry, location, you know, whatever you want targeted, but my favorite is that you can actually target the audience of another account. So if you have a favorite person or another competitor or relatable uh, account on Twitter, you can actually set it up in the Twitter ads, which I show you how to do in my Twitter ad playbook to only target your ads towards their followers. That way you know for sure they're exactly the followers you want to show your ad to. Next, it's about the ad strategy. So we wanna set up multiple different ads to see what clicks for you. Whatever worked on Instagram, Facebook, and Google isn't going to be the same for Twitter. Now, Twitter's cost per click is so low that it, there's no reason not to test. So what we do is we go to Canva. We create multiple different images on Canva to post. I recommend 10 different images to test in the Twitter ads. This way you can see which one performs the best. And then I recommend one video. So now you've got 10 images and one video. They can almost be exactly the same. Just do little things like put an arrow towards something or change the colors or change the formatting. And now you're going to test the 10 images in the one video. Give it about three to five days, come back and check and see which one got the lowest cost per click. So you want to look at the, the most amount of clicks and the lowest cost per click and continue running that ad. So maybe only two of the images out of the 10 work well, shut off the other eight and just keep pushing forward on those two. Your, the results are really cool. Like once you start, you want to start high and narrow, narrow, narrow until you find the last couple that work. Another cool thing is that you can target your followers. So if you already have a list of followers and people in your account, when you're setting up those ads, I teach this in the playbook, you can say, follow, show this ad to my followers or anyone that's engaged in any of my posts. 
And this is really important because these people already know you. It's almost like a retargeting campaign. They're already following you. They already like you. They already trust you. And then they see your ad. They're more likely to click on that ad and take action from there, just like a retargeting campaign. So that's really, really important there. You also want to encourage people to follow you too. You can get followers from ads. So if you're trying to grow your follower base, you can do Twitter ads for pennies per click to get followers, to grow your account. And those are the exact followers you want. And it's like a repeat. So you pay for followers, they follow your page, they see your posts, they learn from you, then they see your ad, then they go to your website and then they eventually buy from you. So it's just really powerful stuff where you don't need a large budget to do it. And if you do have a large budget, you're gonna see even more outstanding results for your business. And the last thing I wanna teach you is what to send them, what page you should send them to. So we set up specific landing pages for our different ad campaigns. So the customer I told you about earlier, their website.com forward slash Twitter. And then we know anyone that goes to that landing page and fills out the form is from Twitter, right? So now we can track those form submissions, those links, those people that filled out the forms um, or purchased or requested information. Now, by the way, this works for e-commerce, service-based, local-based, any type of business, solopreneurs, this is working for any type of business. And the, it's really cool to see the results where you can plug in any business and target that ideal audience or location and get these results. So set up a landing page, make it specifically for Twitter. That way you can track the metrics. And what we want to see is, okay, if I spend $100 on Twitter ads, how many visitors I got back? So as our case study today, $100 got 1,500 visitors back. Great. Now we want to see how many leads we got. So we spent 100, we got 1,500 visitors and we got 97 leads. That's great. Now calculate it, divide it. So now you have a conversion rate. So I spent $100, 1,500 visitors, uh, 97 leads. That's just over a 6% conversion rate. Anything over a 1% conversion rate, you should be pretty happy with, right? Next, we want to see what our cost per click was. All right, 1,500 visitors, 97 leads, 6% conversion rate, 38 cents a click. All right, this ad stuff's working really well. And last but not least, we want to check at the end of the month how many leads purchased. So if we spend a hundred bucks and we have somebody buy something that's a hundred dollars, we broke even. Okay. That's good. If we spend a hundred and we got somebody to spend 300 or multiple people to spend 300, that's called ROAS, return on ad spend. And what we want to do is get at least a three X ROAS. So if for every dollar we spend, we need at least $3 back. Now, depending on your margins, usually e-commerce businesses need a little bit higher ROAS, but if you're getting a three X back, you know, something's working. You're getting a return on your investment. So I would encourage you to keep on going and keep testing it because the longer you run these ads, the more you learn and the better they'll get. All right. If you want help setting up your Twitter ad account, I have my Twitter ad playbook you can get on automationlinks.com. You'll see it right in the menu there. I'm also going to put it in the link below this video. So I want to encourage you to start. And once you start seeing results, I need you to message me back and tell me about your awesome results so we can have you as our next case study. Thanks again for watching this video and have a great day.